So, my parts got here. I'm super, super stoked. I'm actually still in my PJs. Let me show you guys real quick. Still in my PJs. It's really early. It's like, well, it's not early. It's 10. But when I woke up and took the kids to school, the weather was just tremendously perfect. I mean, it was just gorgeous. I was super, super stoked. I was like, I'm getting my parts today. I'm going to go ride later. But it's cold now. And it looks like it wants to rain. I think I felt sprinkles when I went outside. I said, I do live in El Paso. The weather here is so sporadic. It just changes constantly. Like, it can literally, like, be 100 degrees in the morning. or well, in the afternoon, of course. And then just start raining out of nowhere. Or snowing. It's ha that, that's happened before. My voice. My voice is a little deeper right now. Because I am still feeling sick. But I'm not feeling like, oh, you know, like I'm super sick, dying. But I just, I feel like I'm going to get strip throat or... I haven't had this feeling since I quit smoking. So, it's been a, well, it's been quite a while. It's been almost, jeez. I quit smoking back in July. What, a, half a year, I guess. Half a year. So, saying that, my parts are here. I'm super, super, super excited. I got the box. I'm going to show you guys the box real quick. Wonder what's in that box. I know what's in that box. It's my hub. And it's some other stuff. See, I need to open the box. I'm going to go get, get myself a knife or blade or something to open it up. Oh. Alright, so I'm super excited. Let me show you guys exactly what I got real quick. I got myself a new guard. <laughs> Primo free mix up. Oh, it spins. Ah, oh, so sexy. And ready, 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 ready. Bam! Whose tires are these? What? What? Oh, look at that. No, look at that. These are mad sexy. Mad sexy tires. Now, I need to give a quick shout out. This is for you, John Warren. John Warren is a dude that runs the Primo Warranties. Uh, I think he does sales in Tip Plus and Stranger and just helps out, of course, in the warehouse at Tip Plus. And uh, he's the one that helped me out with the hub and hooked me up with the tires. Thank you, dude. Now, I'm going to leave a link down below for him for Instagram. Or you can just find him as uh, at Primo Man. But the I is a one. Just like I have mine as a profile, you know, the I is a one. But, of course, I'll leave a link down below. I'll figure out somehow to put it, a link on the screen. Maybe right here or something. I don't know, down here. I'll figure that out. So, yeah. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, so sexy. All right, now I need to lace my hub. I need to throw my tires. I'm super, super stoked about this, so. I'm gonna do that real quick. I, I, I might put you guys in the tripod to show you me lacing. I might not, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. We will see. All right, I took everything out and I laid everything on the table nice and organized, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I use to lace the rim. I do have a video on how to, it's not lacing, but it's how to true a rim to get it where it looks almost 100% perfect. I did say how a rim will never be 100% true. That's, you know, that's just how it is. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I have on the table. All right, now what I use, of course, is uh, I got two flathead screwdrivers. I got a swivel head. It's an old screwdriver. I had it for, geez, almost 11 years. It's, it's been work. I need a new one though. And they sort of sharp wide. Now I use a sharp wide just because I'm able to put more tension in the spokes and this one because I'm able to actually count how many turns per nipple. I got some grease of course. Let me flip it the other way around so you can see exactly which grease I use. Now again I am a really big advocate of grease. Anything metal, metal, aluminum, metal contact needs grease. And uh, just it also makes it easier when it's time to chew the rim. Um, after you lace the rim you have to ride it for at least two weeks that way the spoke stretch. But of course these spokes are already stretched. But again it's always good to have grease. I'm just going to grease the threads of it. Now I got my spoke tool. Now this spoke tool is really cool. I got this off a friend, Mr. Mike Payne. You guys seen him in another vlog. Actually, two other vlogs. He's a dude that always airs out super nuts and high. Really good. He gave me this one when I worked on his bike, I believe, three years ago. And then, of course, the chewing stand. You know, you always have to have a chewing stand. They're not even expensive. I understand, you know, a lot of people say they're expensive and they can't buy them but you can find these things for like a hundred bucks you know maybe because I'm older but nowadays a hundred dollars is like a dollar if you think about it just go and buy a stand or not use tie downs all right now I'm gonna set you guys in the tripod and uh, of course I'm just gonna do my thing and build my bike
over the time, lacing wheels has become easier and easier and easier the more you do it. So it really, it took me maybe about 10 minutes to actually lace this wheel. Super cool, super fast. Weather still looks like crap outside, but hopefully, hopefully it clears up. At least, I know I'll be able, once I'm done, I should be able to go and at least ride the bike around the area. Hopefully. Oh, I'm wishing, I'm wishing I can. All right, now it's time for me to put the wheel in the stand so I can uh, finish it up. Putting you guys back on the tripod. All right, I just finished chewing the wheel. I still need to throw a tire on, throw on the bike, and still center it because it's a little off axis, but um, usually the best thing to do is actually when you throw it on the bike. That way, when you tighten the bike, I don't know if you guys ever had that problem, is when you get a new wheel and you throw it on your bike, right, on the back end, and uh, you start tightening it and then the rim starts to shift to one side. Even though it's centered, it still shifts. That's because the wheel isn't centered, so I'm gonna do that right now. But um, I do have the radius. His radius is almost perfect. The radius where it goes up and down into the hops, that is almost perfect. Let me show you guys real quick. All right, spinning, spinning, perfect. I don't know, what do you guys think, what do you guys think? Good, good. The light's a little too bright though. If we look down, all right, let's spin down. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's hard, my hand's still shaking. I've been doing that for 30 minutes, chewing it, so yeah. All right, I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna throw the tires on. Really excited to see how the tires look. These tires are the new Primo Stevie Churchill tires. I believe they are 2.45, so they're a little bigger than my normal tires. So, but I'm just super stoked to throw it on. All right, surprisingly, the wheel is already centered, so that is a bonus. It means I don't have to go throw it on the bike and center. But my spokes are still loose. Like I said these spokes already been stretched, so I'm gonna take the wheel off again, the tire off, and I'm gonna tighten the spokes, give it another, another, another whirl on the chewing stand, and just tighten them up because having loose spokes sucks, especially when you have a free coaster. Because every time you turn and carve, you can hear them just cripple, make noises. So I'm gonna do that real quick, but so far the bike looks amazing. I really, really love these tires. All right, so the bike's done. It looks amazing. I mean, like, this has got to be the best setup I've ever had. I just, I don't know. I just, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, John from Primo, dude. These tires are just sick. Again, there's a link down below for him. You know, go follow him on Instagram. You know, give him, just tell him what's up because that dude is the man, really. The name is Primo Man. Come on. But yeah, I'm going to show you the guys the bike real quick. There's something I do want to do. I want to loosen the chain. The chain I think is a little too tight. I can still crank flip. I think I can. I don't know. I haven't really ridden it yet. All I did was I brought it down here and I took a picture for the Instagram so I can show you guys. Show you guys my, my bike. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys now. Alright, now I did change out the Primo Guard, of course, to the BSD one. 
I have the old BSD like plastic sleeve, so I threw that one on. I'm gonna keep the new one just in case. Now the original insert for this hub guard stripped out. That's why I had to buy a whole new hub guard. So now I got a, a new sleeve, and uh, I'm just using my old old drive set hub guard again. I'm keeping them just in case. I got the new Odyssey pegs. These things are big. They're just wider than my other pegs. New Stevie tires. All oh, those things are sick. They're a little fatter, but I only have it at 60 right now. So if I were to expand it at 100, those things would be huge. Got that Primo Sean Mac seat. Oh, that thing is nice. Of course, I showed you guys the pedals already. The grandstand, Tom Dugan signature. Soundwave V2 frame. I've had this frame for three years already. Not really that many dents, just a lot of scratches. I do have a dent, like on the bottom, and of course, where you're grinding. I have that bash card sprocket. I forgot the name of it. LaGuardio, I think. Odyssey hazard rims. Primo flyingless front hub. Odyssey. Odyssey headset, an old extinct stand, which is the Odyssey Sexton. These no longer on the team. And I believe these are sweepstake bars. And of course, the hoarder grips. I really wanted to get on the bike, so now I'm cruising it. Gonna finish it off. Now, like I said, this is has to be the best setup I've had in many years. It just feels, feels tremendous. It's smooth. I mean, like, wow, it's smooth. I really, really can't wait to ride tonight. So the weather's cheered up. It was windy. It sounded windy upstairs. This morning, it looked like it wanted to rain. But it's not, it's just, it's perfect, perfect weather. I can't really ride at the moment because of course my kids get out at 2.45. So I don't want to risk missing them. So I'm going to leave it off right here. Now again, John at Primo The Man, I with one. Thank you for these tires, they are amazing. Thank you for replacing this hub, dude. Like, that is totally sick. This thing is smooth, smooth. And, uh, that's pretty much it, so I'll just leave it off right here, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.